Welcome to the Wata channel. Today, you will learn about the sample preparation and genomic DNA extraction procedures for finfish and shellfish. Let's begin. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is an organic chemical of complex molecular structure found in all prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells as well as in many viruses. DNA carries the instruction needed to create proteins which are essential in the development and functioning of the body. It also codes genetic information for the transmission of inherited traits. The analysis of DNA is fundamental in understanding the biological mechanisms of life. DNA can be analyzed through a range of techniques, including polymerase chain reaction or PCR, which can amplify few quantities of DNA into billions of copies, and through DNA sequencing, which helps work out its structure. Such techniques are being utilized in species identification, disease diagnosis, therapeutics, and numerous fundamental researches in the field of fisheries and aquaculture. Genomic DNA extraction is a process of isolating DNA from a biological sample and is the starting point in the analysis of the molecule. In the first half of this demo, I will show you how to prepare tissue samples for molecular analysis. And in the second half, will be a demonstration of the procedures for DNA extraction. The following are the materials needed for tissue sampling. Tissue samples may be excised from various body parts, such as muscle, gills, or appendages. For fish samples, muscle tissue is preferred to avoid gutting the specimen for the internal organs. Fin clips may also be sampled for fin fishes but may yield less DNA quality and quantity. Tissue sample is excised from the right-hand side of the specimen as the left-hand side is traditionally reserved for measurement and photo documentation. Sterilized dissecting tools like forceps, scissors, and scalpel for each tissue extraction to prevent cross-contamination of one specimen to another. Swab the dissecting site with cotton balls soaked in 70% ethanol to remove excess mucus, debris, and other contaminants. Muscle tissue is usually removed from above the pectoral fin or on the caudal peduncle so as not to alter the contour of the specimen. DNA extraction requires at least 50 mg of tissue. The tissue samples may be immediately subjected to DNA extraction or preserved for future processing. The most commonly used preservation method is freezing. Tissue samples should be placed in an appropriate size sterile container with sample to ethanol ratio at least 1 is to 3. Containers should then be labeled using a pencil or indelible ink with information linking the specimen and tissue. And that's it for today's episode. If you have questions or just want to share something, just comment down below. So, let's learn together online only here at the Wata channel. Please like and subscribe. Bye!